Have you noticed that some world leaders have been talking in recent years about coming food shortages? Not just in America, but in other places around the world too. With regard to food shortage, yes, we did re re talk about food shortages. And, uh, and it's gonna be real. Along with this, there's also talk about fertilizer shortages in parts of the world. Farmers who play a vital role in food supply have expressed concern over potential shortages and government programs that hamper food production. Although these things haven't fully materialized yet, the factors that may have prompted these comments and concerns are still going strong with no end in sight. The now almost three-year-old war between Russia and Ukraine seems to be serving no real purpose except killing people and destroying a country and farmland that has long been known as the breadbasket of Europe. Famines and food shortages can come upon nations or the world through many means. They can come through drought, locusts, or other national conditions. But history shows that war often leads to famine too. In the case of worldwide or large regional famines, war, a man-made cause, forces people to go without basic necessities. The people become dependent on their king or government. The Bible addresses these conditions extensively. The four horsemen of the apocalypse tell a tale of the future of the earth. We've spoken in detail about the first and second in prior episodes. Today, let's speak of the third horseman, the rider of the black horse of famine. War often leads to famine, and the third horseman foretells a time of severe food shortages that will affect not just a region, but the entire earth. When Jesus Christ was asked by his disciples, what would be the signs of the end of the age and his coming? He said in Matthew 24, deception, which is false religion, wars and rumors of wars, and then famine. The details of the four horsemen of Revelation provide more details of what Christ said would happen, so let's take a closer look at that third horse. We find it in Revelation 6, verses 5 and 6. When Christ opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come and see. So I looked, and behold, a black horse, and he who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, A quart of wheat for a denarius, and three quarts of barley for a denarius, and do not harm the oil and the wine. There's some very interesting symbolism in these verses that describe the ride of this horseman and its effect on the earth and mankind. Let's look at those a little more closely and see how we may already see this horseman figuratively riding on the earth right now, today. First, Notice the scales in his hand. Scales indicate a time of scarcity and rationing of foods or grains. It can happen in the aftermath of hurricanes and adverse weather events, but those who have lived through wars, like those who lived through World War II, have seen this happen too. Back then you lined up for your ration of cheese, meat, or whatever was allotted for you and your family that day. That's all you got. War has devastating effects on man in so many areas, including food and the cost of food. So these scales, while they measure out the grain you can have, they also introduce the economic impact of shortages. Food is weighed out for sale, and the price is quite high due to scarcity and demand. Notice what it says in Revelation 6, verse 6. It says, a quart of wheat for a denarius and three quarts of barley for a denarius. These quantities of food are minimal, barely enough for people to survive on, yet a denarius is a huge sum. In biblical times, a denarius represented a full day's wage. You can read about that in Matthew chapter 20, verses 1 and 2, where Christ spoke in a well-known parable about people working for a day for the pay of a denarius. You know, we don't have to guess about what the Bible means because, you see, the Bible interprets itself. You just need to know the Bible. But going back to the horsemen and famine, we have scarcity of food, a government that's in control of doling it out, and they are charging a very high price. High prices. This is exorbitant inflation.
Now let's think about inflation for a moment. Haven't we entered into a time of worldwide inflation? It's often spoken of in the news, especially in relation to the cost of food, like eggs, meat, and milk. Haven't we heard how some families can't make ends meet? Inflation in food prices in the United States, according to statistics, is up 25% since the year 2021. That's why this is a key discussion point in elections around the world. Inflation, caused by government and its decisions, is a sign of the end times. And remember, the four horsemen start off with a ride that just gradually increases in intensity until the time of Christ's return. Watch for inflation and higher prices going forward. And think about how it all fits together as you look at the world around us. There are people who want absolute control over everything you do. They want to control what you say, what you think. And the Bible talks of that time when an autocratic ruler and government system will dominate the earth and inflict his will on others. What better way to have control of the people than to have control over their food supply? You can keep them subject to you. And that's exactly what the Bible says it will be like in the end time when that system of government, known as the beast, is in control. It will exert such control over you that unless you bow down and worship, that is, take that infamous mark of the beast, you won't be able to buy or sell, not even food. Talk about man inflicting shortages on others. You get the picture of where this world is headed? One more aspect of this black horse of famine and inflation. The last part of Revelation 6, verse 6 says, and don't harm the oil and the wine. Oil and wine are luxury items. They're not basic necessities like grain, which will be scarce. If you can barely afford basic foodstuffs, luxury items like oil and wine will be out of reach for most people. But those in control, government officials and the elite, will likely have no problem helping themselves to the luxury food items like meat, fruit, oil, and wine. If you remember during COVID-19 times, when lockdowns and certain restrictions were in place, you saw pictures of those in power dining in groups and fine restaurants or getting their hair done without wearing a mask, luxuries the everyday citizen didn't have. Will that be the case again? During COVID, we've read that the rich got richer. Could that happen again? as the ride of the four horsemen intensifies through the time of the end. Mankind and governments can bring about food shortages and all sorts of pain, suffering, and misery upon itself. But Christ will return to earth, and the evil and times of misery, starvation, and tribulation for mankind will end when he sets up his righteous government on earth, the way to joy, peace, harmony, and abundance, Plenty of food for everyone will be taught and lived around the world. Notice these encouraging and very true verses we find in the words of the minor prophet Amos. Chapter 9, verse 13, it says this, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the treader of grapes him who sows seed. The mountains shall drip with sweet wine, and all the hills shall flow with it. Those days are coming, as surely as I am standing here saying this. Do you want to learn the way of peace, joy, happiness, and blessings from God now? Do you want to know the truth, the absolute truth of what is going on and what is going to happen in this world? The answers are all here, right here in the Bible. God has a plan of salvation for you and all mankind, but few know it. But it is in the Bible. He has a tremendous future planned for mankind, and you can live it now if you turn from your ways and the ways of the world and turn to Him. We can help you understand the Bible. Let me give you a very encouraging verse in 1 Corinthians 2, verse 9. There God says, Eye hasn't seen, ear hasn't heard, nor has it entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love Him. Do you want to learn more about your God and His truth? 
then repent, Christ tells us, and turn to Him. He is the only way to salvation. You can learn more about all of this today by going to ucg.org slash blackhorse.